first man to emerge, carrying his hat in his hand, had black hair on a long, horse-like jaw. His eyes darkened by heavy brows. He raised his face as he descended and peered around at the estate and the men and women gathered there. But it was the second man, the sinister man in white who seized my attention. This was our new master. We could all sense it at once. He was tall, impatient, sickly, his legs bending away from each other like calipers. Underneath his tree-cornered white hat, a shock of white hair burst forth. I had a sense of pale eyelashes, an uncooked pallor to his skin. A man who has belonged to another learns very early to observe a master's eyes. What I saw in this man's terrified me. He owned me as he owned all those I lived among, not only our lives, but also our debts. And that pleased him too much. <laughs>